The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Frank Warren talks trash for Daniel Dubois at the press conference. Now, this is going to be lengthy because Gerald Big Baby Miller, without question, came through and stole this press conference. That's a fact. He stole the press conference, and there's no doubt about that. It started with him launching a verbal assault at Daniel Dubois, and Daniel Dubois just froze. It was bad. It was it was horrible. It was the type of thing where you see why Daniel Dubois is a fighter now. Because the only thing he could do was punch him to shut him up. <laughs> it, it looked like you're watching a kid get bullied, bro. Like a verbal bu- uh, bullying. It was just like, uh, for real. It's almost like, yo, it's so bad. Like in high school when you witness this, the only thing you could do is like, yo, you got to punch him. You got to hit him. <laughs> like, yo. The funniest part about this is Frank, though. Frank is doing his darnest to help uh, Daniel Dubois, so it's super hilarious. But, yo, this is going going to be a few minutes. Just sit back and enjoy the verbal onslaught from uh, Gerald Big Baby Miller to, to practically everyone on the stage. All right, here it is right here. Uh, this video appears courtesy of Fight Hub. Subscribe to Fight Hub TV. First of all, I want to say, uh, you know, we got to wake this crowd up. Uh, assalamu alaikum. Um, thank you, Brother Turkey, for putting on this event. Frank Warren, George, for uh, working diligently behind the scene and making it happen. Brother Spencer Brown for really putting this together. And um, thank you, Daniel Dubois, for being the dummy to sign the contract because I'm going to beat your ass. Um, listen, man, proof is in the pudding. When I, I talk that shit, but I back it up. Every time. So was it kickboxing or boxing? I'm going in there and I'm gonna rip his head off. You know, there's a saying we have in New York. I mean, if you don't like Vulcan, let's cover your air. We smell bitch in them. And once the bitch is in you, it ain't going nowhere. You quit against Joy Joyce. You got beat up and knocked out by a jab by Osek. And those are small guys. I mean, Joy Joyce is big, but he ain't big baby big. So I'm telling you something. When you find a mean guy like me that's throwing 80 punches around, Got a good chin. Don't quit. Come forward. I'm kicking his ass, and I'm sending him to early retirement, plain and simple. Okay, well, let's... uh, Ask your mama, too. Let's actually bring in uh, Daniel Dubois here. Daniel, you've just heard a lot of comments there. He says he's going to kick your ass. Uh, He's talked about doing all sorts of things to you on December 23rd. How does that sound? Excited for it. You know, this is it. (laughs) Big time boxing, baby. I want to chop that tree down, and that's, that's what I'm planning to do. All right, hold on. It's for the sake of, like, I got to help my man, Daniel Dubois. Yo, Daniel, this is the time when you got to say he's roid raging. Lord knows what he got him in right in him right now. i tell you right now, if Vada came walking in this room, he, he'd run away. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I said, big baby, you still buying penis pills from the bodega? Yeah, right. You know I, mean? Thanks, dog. I said, the only time you get hard is on this stage, and you know what I'm talking about. Like, come on, man. Come on, Daniel. Jeez, man. All right. We'll continue. We'll continue. All right. Uh, Jarrell, what do you think of Daniel Dubois? If shit had a twin, it'd be his face. It's plain and simple. (laughs) I mean, listen, bro. Like I said before, we could talk the talk and walk the walk. I talk and I back it up. Like I said, I think the tra- his new trainer put the battery in his back, try to motivate him to get in there with the likes of me. You know what I mean? He was scared to fight Joseph Parker. I heard Joseph Parker move too much for him, so he don't want to chase him around. So he thought because I'm inactive, he's going to fight a big guy like me. But I come forward, and I'm just mean, hungry. And like I said before, there's nothing he's going to do to me that's going to bother me. I'm going to hit him with everything in the kitchen sink, and I'm going to send him back to his training. And I'm <laughs> Yo, tell he's him, baffled. I Look at him. Hold I got pause it right there. Look at my man. Baffled. <laughs> He doesn't know how to respond. What is going on? <sighs> All right. Plain and simple, come December 21st, I'm going to kick your study your ass. Right. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, Daniel, any response to that? That's bring it on, <laughs> bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. I'm, bring really that I'm motivated for this fight, and you know, after that fight and the emotions that that fight stirred up in me, I'm up for it, and I want to really go go. You're to making for this pay. Hey? You're making pay for it. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> oh yeah, good. That's what we want. 
his promoter got to hype him up because he over there. He's stealing a bag of chips over there, boy. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm telling you right now, man, I'm going to fry your ass. Anybody, once I kick his behind, I'm going to buy everybody fish and chips in here. Bet my word on that. And Frank, we're going to talk long term. Don't worry after I cook your boy. I feel bad for you for putting that money behind that. It's a wrap. We will see. But Jarrell, I've just got one more for you because you have a kind of hostility with a, a number of heavyweights. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen recent things with Deontay Wilder. Of course, you were scheduled at one point to fight Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say to anyone else up here? Oh, they can all kiss my black ass. Deontay and AJ. I don't like none of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm trying to say? But one thing I can tell you is that after I finish with du Dubois, I definitely want Manuel Charles. Hold on, no, I just want to rewind it a little bit. That, to me, was very messy. What, what Homeboy did. Um, I don't know his name. But he's the one who AJ didn't like and was like, don't ask me any questions. Yeah, I no questions. Yeah, that yeah. was feverish of AJ. But that was I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think so, because when you look at what he did here, you you know what he's referring to about Deontay Wilder, the disc record where he's talking about banging yeah, his yeah, wife. <laughs> and he <laughs> opens the floodgates for this. Then when he throws it to Deontay Wilder. He tries to set it up so that Wilder can be like, AJ's been running from me or whatever. And if you if you if you catch Wilder's first reaction, he was like, Yo, you messy. He says Wilder says it to him, like, yo, you messy. Like, you know what I mean? Because Wilder peeped it too. So he he it wasn't like he was innocent and, and AJ just went at him. It was like you were you were trying to a go on a little excitement, which I'm not mad at, but so, anyways, uh yeah, just listen to his question. Where he's like, oh, you recently said something about Wilder. We all know what he's referring to. And it's to me, that's kind of messy. Like A number of heavyweights. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen recent things with Deontay Wilder. Of course, you were scheduled at one point to fight Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say to anyone else up here? Oh, they can all kiss my black ass. Deontay and AJ. I don't like none of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm trying to say? But one thing I can tell you is that after I finish with du Dubois, I definitely want Manuel Chark as he got that belt. Them dudes got losses, and there ain't nothing over there with the, for them belts right now. But I tell you one thing, though. We all know for a fact that AJ don't want no smoke with Deontay. Shut the fuck up. And even though... <laughs> start with me. You know. Even though... Yeah. Listen, Miller, don't start with me. Even though... You know, I'll come listen, over there and listen, slap you, and I see you brought your mom here again. I see you brought your mom here again because you need a rampage. Boy, shut up. You're don't not built that. like that. But like I was saying, we all know that AJ Fucking don't want clown. no smoke with Deontay. As much as I don't like Deontay, I know Deontay will put that motherfucker in the grave. So let's make... I'll make it easy for you. Either you can fight Deontay and go to the grave or fight me and go to the hospital. Either way, you can get your ass whooped. So pick your poison. So let's stop all that talking. Take Eddie Hearn thumb out your ass and pick somebody that really can fight. Either me or Deontay, one of us Americans, whoop your ass. Stop hey, running over your English muffin. You are not doing listen, nothing. Bro, listen, bro. You softening you baby. You're not shit. doing nothing to me. Watch your mouth. You let my little cousin Miller, Eddie Watch your me. mouth. You softening baby. Watch your mouth. I'll come over Stop running I'll from me. Stop running from Deontay. Man, the fuck up and fight somebody with a heartbeat, bro. Shut up. But yeah, Daniel, du be. Daniel Dubois got to stop this. We can't have it, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Tell him you're not gonna let him do this, Daniel. Daniel, anything to say? Oh, I gotta, Daniel. I gotta bring it back, yo. But you Daniel, you, Daniel, do you forget who who he's fighting, right? Either me or Deontay, one of and AJ and Frank Warren is the one who has the presence. Like Daniel, you're supposed to get in here, and he. Yeah. <laughs> Americans whoop your ass. So stop running over English you, muffin. You are not doing listen, nothing, bro. Listen, bro. You softening you baby. You are not shit. doing nothing to me. Watch your you, mouth. You let my little cousin Miller, Watch your mouth. You softening baby. Watch your mouth. Softening watch baby your mouth. I'll come over there. Running from one last thing. Watch what Daniel Dubois does after Frank does all the hard work for him and throws it back to Daniel Dubois. All he has to say is, "I'm gonna beat this steroid taking Kentucky Fried Chicken eating." You know what I'm saying? He he just he he just fumbles what hit. Me, stop running from Deontay, man the fuck up and fight somebody with a heartbeat, bro. Shut up. But Daniel du Daniel Dubois got to stop this. We can't have it, Daniel. <laughs> Tell him you're not gonna let him do this, Daniel. Daniel, anything to say? Not, oi, oi. not right now, <laughs> but we're gonna keep things moving. Thank you very much, Jerome Miller. Um, and you're welcome. Joshua, we're, we're gonna start talking about your. Freaking <laughs> He was on the stage. He's, he's like, oh, this looks like a great fight. AJ and Yo, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gave the ball. Frank is like, yo, I'm promoting this fight. <laughs> I'm promoting AJ versus Big Baby Miller right now. 
All right, man, yo, G, man. What was your reaction to Daniel Dubois? <laughs> I'm being honest, man. I have no reactions towards Daniel Dubois. It's just one of those <laughs> God bless. It's one of those God bless moments. Like, you keep your head up, fam. You know what I'm saying? But salute to Big Baby, man. Like, Big Baby held it down. Frank, he tried to do his thing, you know, but hey man, I'm not even I'm not even mad. But it's just like looking at Dean Dubois looking confused, looking lost. You know what I'm saying? The dude's violating you. He's talking about how you stutter. He's saying you fishing chips. He called my man's fishing chips, son. Like, <laughs> come on, son. yo, big baby's mad disrespectful. So I'm like. And he ain't saying that. He just said, like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm motivated. Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> like, this is it. This is, I'm like, bro, you sound like, Daniel Dubois sound like Usyk. But at least, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Daniel Dubois, like. Usyk would have had more to say to that. Yeah, would have had more to say, dog. This dude, bring it on. I, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I'm motivated. I'm like, damn. Ah, Lee, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just some sad things, man. Like, but shout out to Big Baby because, you know, he had my man Frank was on the ropes. Like, oh, snap, yo. I got to <laughs> promote Daniel and he's just chilling. Yo, Daniel, wake up. Wake up. Say something. He's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, silence. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like Daniel's not a yo, yo, respectfully, your man is just. He not it, man. He not it in the ring or out the ring. It's like, no. man, you gotta find. I don't know, man. Just, yeah, he needs he needs a lot of polishing. You know, like Frank. I get it, man. Yeah, you invested in this kid, but I don't know, man. Hey, and I'm gonna be honest. I actually want Big Baby to win this fight. You know what I'm saying? So I hope my man Big Baby can pull it off. Cause I just I'm just curious. I'm I hope Big Baby can pull an AJ or a Wilder fight. Cause he's been talking too reckless. So one of them guys gotta 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 violate him. You know what I'm saying? But Daniel Dubois, I don't know if he could do it. But if he does do it, salute to you, Daniel. It's nothing personal with me. You know, it's just I, I want to see one of the big boys violate uh Big Baby. Cause rightfully so. I kind of feel like AJ has multiple reasons while there has multiple reasons to do this dude uh to do um big baby miller dirty you know you you just you just there so salute to you hi uh tve nah big baby stole the moment tonight that night yo it was crazy like i didn't think gerald miller was gonna come with all that smoke but he brought it he brought it to everyone and the crazy thing i want to point out how you drop a diss track one week and the next week you sitting right next to the man. Like it was just that was just that was just wild. That was like messy in itself. Like I heard Deontay saying it's messy, but that was messy in itself. Like you got two brothers beefing, sitting right next to each other, no security, nobody in sight. Just like stop them if they had a confrontation. Wow, big baby was still talking his mess, and he, he brought it to everybody on that stage. And Dubois, it ain't cutting it. You gotta have the charisma, you gotta have that quick. Quick comebacks, you gotta have it, yo. If you're gonna want to last in the sport, but nah, yo, big baby, that, that was that was that was that was pretty dope. He bounced back from from all the P PD talks, all all the issues. That moment right there was his moment, and he came. He was prepared. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, he cooked AJ. Like what he said was on point. But we all know if you're going to last with these contenders, you got to be in shape, and you're not that. That's one thing you're not. You're not in shape. I don't know if you can go five rounds with Dubois, even though I feel you could outclass him. But because you're not in shape, I don't think you're going to, like, handle yourself. And we got six weeks to this fight, like the 23rd, 21st, whenever it's on. Miller, you got a lot to you got a lot of work to put in, and you can't sit here and just talk your way through this fake mess. You gotta really like deliver because you've been doing all these, all these pharmaceuticals, and we don't know where you at. We don't know where you're like every time we see you fight, it's just like mm, he's out of shape. He's out of shape every time he's out of shape. So these guys can go twelve rounds. Can you go twelve rounds? That's all I'm saying. 
Ned, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Like, when have you ever seen Big Baby not go 12 rounds? I'm saying I don't think he can go. But, but why do you think that? He's out of shape. Yo, you know, he's he's been out of shape his entire career, and he still has... Nah, like, nah, nah. When he, yeah, when he's, he's been having, he's been having that extra... He's been having that extra push. He was yeah, getting ready for I AJ. He was yoked push. up. Pause. He was yoked up for AJ, but now it's like, yo, these, these fighters, these fighters is like... Nah, but what I'm just saying is, you're saying like you don't think he could last five rounds, and I'm like... I'm, yo, I'm saying he looked out of shape. He way more punches than most heavyweights. He has like the, the second, like, after like they're talking like after Kalnowski's Kalnowski throws the most punches in the heavyweight division. Big Baby's number two in the heavyweight division of, th- of punches thrown in the fight. I gotta see okay. this stat line. I don't believe. No, nah, it. it's true, but bro, we done seen these dudes fight, and we're like, yo, these yeah. dudes are some big dudes, but they they letting their hands go. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't. I could. I listen. I know he's been on the juice, and I'm not defending Big Baby at all, but. Even without the juice, I'm confident he could at least last six rounds, especially against Daniel Dubois, bro. Like, you're making it seem like Daniel Dubois is some type of like Terminator, bro. Like, it ain't no, he's not. Terrible. He's not. He's not. He's not. Dubois is not no Terminator. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying, Big Baby, you 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 better get in training camp. That's all I'm saying. Get in the gym, work out, get your stamina up. Because it, it's like I don't know. I'm not seeing it from this baby. Big Baby show up in the ring. After five rounds, I think he's done, yo. I promise you. I think uh, he's done. All right. So you're just doing an eye test. Got you. Yeah. I think he's done after five rounds. Yo. I think he's going to be gassed. He's going to be out of fuel. He's going to be big baby. That's it. I'm with you, Ned, the TVE. I don't, I don't think he's going to be able to throw 80 punches around like he used to or have the punch output that he used to. You, I mean... The juice was giving him some type of benefits. And we saw in his comeback fights, he didn't really look that good. And he was fighting on, like, pro box. Or he was fighting that wasn't even televised. I, I, I was trying to watch it. We had to wait, like, till the next day to watch it on uh, YouTube. We're going to get into Big Baby Miller in greater detail in the next topic. But for this topic, this is strictly for Daniel Dubois. Because I felt bad watching him up there. It felt like. You know, it felt like bullying. That's and and you know it felt like bullying when Frank felt like, yo, <laughs> I got to jump in here. Frank was I got to, like, yo, right I'm not going to let this happen, Daniel, right? <laughs> like, so I'm going to try to help you out, Daniel Dubois. All right. So uh, next time you're on stage with, uh, you know, Big Baby and he's doing his thing, just say like if he if he ran on a treadmill as much as he run his mouth, he'd actually be in shape, right? For the fight. So it's one thing you had to tell him. The other thing you could say to him is say, "Big baby, that's a cute way to describe a fat man, right? That's a, that's another thing you could say to him, right? And another thing you could say to him is, uh, I know you show your ass on stage because you can't see your balls. You know what I'm saying?" That's another thing you can say <laughs> to a big baby villa. All right. And lastly, when he's really getting excited, ask him, are you on your cycle? Right? See, see that? See that? Say, he's on a cycle. You know what I mean? Um, those are some things you can do. I mean, I'm just saying, man, you gotta come prepared for this. You know, big baby Miller is coming at you. You know he's going to be saying things to you. Not, none of them brought up the fact that this man done pop positive. So you know why, times. right? I just might huh? have G. Reason go why. Ahead, go ahead. It's because they all do it, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, they all do it. I'm telling you, I was thinking the same thing. Like, how come nobody's going to talk about him being a drug chief? Because Big Baby probably done did it all with them dudes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They probably they probably helped him put the syringe in his ass cheek. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, they're all funny style. Because I'm like, none of y'all going to call him out on that? Yeah. Not one of y'all? Yeah. Only, only person I was saying it the whole time was Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew was losing his mind. Like, he's a drug <laughs> cheat. Do not support him. He's a drug cheat. 
I hope he loses. Blah. And I'm like, salute to you, Tony Bellew. Thank you for reminding us. But I'm like, nobody <laughs> else on that stage is going to say anything about this dude using yeah. drugs. Hmm. Even AJ, I'm thinking like AJ, this dude's talking about, oh, I almost beat you, and I'm like, let's talk about why you didn't, Big Farmer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you, if you're so tough, why'd you take every drug you can get your hands on to fight me? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, I was just wondering how he, how he escaped that whole stage without being called a drug chief. Man. Um, but, I'm afraid he's gonna drop dime. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he had his moment. He, he he capitalized on that moment right there. I'm like, if anybody could do it, it's Big Farmer. He definitely stole the show. Big Baby Miller definitely, definitely stole the show. But for me, it's troubling how clueless Daniel Dubois just looks <laughs> when he's getting – like, to me, to be a star, you got to have that clap back. Like, even Deontay, although Deontay Wilder isn't the best – with like the wits and coming back, at least he says some things. Like he was going back and forth with Tyson Fury in the first press conference, and it was somewhat entertaining. And you could tell, like they sold the fight. He's really just sitting there like this, <laughs> right? He's like, yeah. Oh, oh. if Frank is what you could tell, Frank is watching this. Like he's not gonna say anything. Like you know, you can't sell, bro. You gotta just say something. Like, geez, like he tried. It was so corny. I guess he just. I'm gonna chop that tree. <laughs> it's wild when Frank's I, like, "Yo, Daniel, clap back, clap back, Daniel, dude, do something." <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, fight, we'll back. Need you. fight back, fight hey, back, Daniel, man. You need to get, you need to get a pen and a pad out, and you need to have a few insults ready for Gerald Miller. At the next press conference, otherwise it's going to be bad for you. Yo, Big Baby talking about he stutters. I'm like, damn, dog, <laughs> that is yo, just the, the, the level Ooh. of disrespect was out the meter, dog. I'm like, yo, this dude here, Big Baby man, violator, straight violator. You know what it is, bro? I don't know what it's like in the UK, but in America, right? When we go to school, from the time you're in like elementary you're school, talk trash. Yeah, yo. like you get on the bus. From the moment you sit on that bus, dudes is just talking and just going and just going. It's just like you got to have, like, these jokes. Like, you got to have them, like, written, like, yo, dog, your mom's so poor she can't kick the roaches out because they pay half the rent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got to have them. You got to have them lined up because if you don't, you're going to be the target of the jokes. Right. So you got to be like ready to go. on stage. You know That's what I'm saying. saying. You got to be ready to go. My man's like, yo. I used to have them lined up. I used to be like, I used to have this one in the chamber. I'd be like, your house so small, you ordered a large cheese pizza and had to eat it outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, you gotta be ready to go. Like, you gotta have these things in the chamber. Like, you know what I mean? Your mom's so dumb, she went to a baseball game and she drowned in the wave. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you gotta do this. All right. So all I'm saying is. Daniel Dubois, get your wit up, man. It's just boxing is all around entertainment, man. And you fumbled on that stage, man. You let everyone upstage you. Frank Warren tried to save you, but it was a disgrace. Daniel Dubois, step your trash talking game up. Thank well, you. I'll say this, though. Salute to AJ. AJ wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? When that smoke came his way, AJ shut that down real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. And. You know, I don't like when dudes bring up parents and family members, but salute to AJ for that one, too. Like, yo, shut your mouth before I F you up. And I see your mama there, too. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, while Daniel's like, uh. I'm like, ah. Uh, uh, oi, oi. Right, yo, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services. Daniel Dubois. Hit us up if you need some clapbacks, man, because that was just bad. We are the Boxing Bros.